Hello, it's Polish Paul and we are here to review Blade and Sorcery Nomad for Oculus Quest 2. Finally, it's here, I played it, I loved it, I'm gonna tell you all about it. First of all, let's address the very gory elephant in the room. As we know, the developers announced that some blood effects will be disabled in the game, but you'll be able to enable them as a experimental features. Now listen, what's happening is dismemberment and blood effects are enabled from the get-go, they are here. So there is some gore if you want to, the experimental features are blood on characters and blood on weapons. You can still switch them on, I did, it can cause slowdown and it does, and also it causes some glitches, but I didn't care because glitches are the part of a charm in the blade and sorcery. Graphically, I must say, one of the better looking Oculus Quest 2 games, the developer uh, kind of ruining this game, like taking the Quest 2 to its maximum, but it looks great. Very, very close to the PC version on the low settings, which is very good for a standalone headset, and once you get immersed, it just all looks the same to me. My favorite one mode in this game is the latest update, which is the Dungeons update. This is the mode that glitches out the most, uh, like floor is missing sometimes and stuff like that. But I do not care because I enjoy it, it gives you this sense of progression through the level. Now speaking about progression, there will be a progression mode in this game next year. I cannot wait, you'll be going through the dungeon, upgrading your character, progressing, collecting stuff that will be awesome and that will be releasing in 2022, but you're gonna have to create a separate save for it. Everything what you know from PC version, every weapon, every spells and everything else is here apart from the Citadel map, but who knows, maybe they will add it in the future, I don't know, but all the other maps are here, all the, let's say, cheats are here as well, all the things you can do on map with your spawn book, it's all here as well, so definitely a super awesome port, it's no point me talking too much here about it, uh, sounds, everything is just pretty much the same, the download is about four and a half gigabytes, once you download it, you're just gonna be played playing it endlessly because it's just a good old blade and sorcery people got to love and now even more people gonna get to love it on oculus quest perfect game for me 10 out of 10 i'm loving it i hope you're gonna love it shout out to the patrons thank you very much for your support go and download it enjoy the glitches enjoy the charm of the blades and sorcery and enjoy all the hilariousness that comes with it